What's up, ninjas? This is Sims Sir Loser, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Supernatural. And this is season two. This is the first episode. This is the first episode of season two, so there really isn't any like welcome back. But I do have to welcome a new character. Um, but first, let me just introduce all the old characters, and in, in case you haven't watched the series, this is Gollum right here, Gollum of Dust. He's basically he's created by the Wicked Witch, who I'll introduce later. Um, he's her servant, but he, recently he's become, like, kind of friends with the bone guy, Felix, but, you know, he's still kind of her servant. He's been trying to break away, but, you know, he was made by her. He, you know, he, he has loyalty to her, basically. He kind of loves her as a mother and stuff, but, you know, his traits are like this. Yeah, blah, he's insane, he's gloomy, he's incredibly friendly, great storyteller, observant, goofball, high metabolism, um... And yeah, it's pretty great. He's also supposed to be long-lived. I don't know where that went. I'll fix that in another episode, though. Like, he lives a really long time. But, you know, whatever. Next, we got Hexora Hylos, who's the big bad witch around here. Um, she's got a lot of potions, basically, so don't fuck with her. She's basically got every potion that you can get. Her traits, she's got a level 10 mission skill as well, which means she's really good at the voodoo doll. So don't mess with her. She's a night owl. She's carefree, she gets free services, she's mean, she's evil, she hates children. She's a very quick learner, however. Then we got Jack Rain, who's the butler. He's a really good cook, but he's got like a, he's got like kind of a bad side, you know. He's kind of a ladies man. Go back to his traits, goddamn you. He's a ladies man, great kisser, foodie, good. He's a, he's a good guy, you know. He lives in a house with a bunch of weirdos. Don't know why, he's just a damn butler, but maybe this butler has secrets, who knows. Then we got Felix. Felix joined the house uh, later. Uh, F Felix is like super gloomy. He's got like all these, he's got all these bone tattoos all, all over his body. The witch hates him because he spends too much time with Gollum. She doesn't want anybody spending time with Gollum because Gollum is hers. She doesn't want anybody to screw up the connection. But Felix doesn't give a fuck. Felix is a free spirit even though the witch has attacked him before with like potions and shit. But you know, that's, you know, pretty crazy. But yeah, that's go that's uh Felix. He's he's a cool character. And let's go to the ghost. The ghost. She's she's pretty cool. She's like quiet. She's pretty gloomy because you know she's dead. She's really good at piano. And you know this ghost, unlike other ghosts, uh, she doesn't have to use the bathroom. She ne hardly ever needs to eat. She doesn't need to sleep. She doesn't even take showers. So she's she's an actual ghost. So yeah, I had to do some cheats to get give these Sims these traits. By the way. And last but not least, we've got. The new character, who is a good witch, right? And she's going to be the main antagonist to Hexora over there. Her name is... What's your name? Maggie Hollowell. And, yeah. Maggie Hollowell. <laughs> and that name is like a, com uh, a combination of several names of several people in, like, uh, fiction. If you can figure it out, then you're cool, but, yeah, whatever. Um, and she's a witch, and she doesn't really do the whole potions thing. She's more of like a na she's more of like a nature witch, and she also um, what separates her from the wicked witch, the power that she has that the wicked witch knows not, is quite simply this witch has the power to teleport. Yes, 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 she can teleport. That is her special gift. I didn't. Yeah, hurry up. It's kind of slow, but yeah, that's her power. And eventually she's probably going to defeat the Wicked Witch, um, but who knows. All I know is that by the end of this season, one of these characters will be dead. So who will it be? Who out of the six is going to die? Um, that's pretty much up to, for, to you guys to decide, uh, but yeah, as the series goes on. Okay, as you can see here, uh, Gollum, Gollum loves Halloween. He's decorated all, this, all the outside of the house for Halloween, basically. And he's gonna go carve a pumpkin. Uh, let's go with a orange classic pumpkin. Go carve your pumpkin, Gollum. Gollum like loves Halloween. He loves getting into the spirit of it. Uh, yeah, so he likes to decorate. That's just him. Carve the damn pumpkin, Gollum. I'll have all day. I actually have not seen what this looks like yet. <laughs> this is like my first time seeing what the, this carbon pumpkin thing came with. The spooky stuff expansion pack, if you didn't know. So he takes the seeds out, and now he's carving it. Why is he sad? 
Oh, just because he's gloomy. Like, all of my sims are gloomy, aren't they? Like, three of them are gloomy. Like, half of them are gloomy. Holy crap. No one's gonna get along with uh, the new good witch because cause she's cheerful as fuck. Oh, and by the way, she's like a really good gardener. Yeah. Two. <laughs> okay, Golem carved a pumpkin. I want to see what this looks like. God, all this work and you've all you've put into it was like this little indentation. Okay, there are two indentations. Sorry, I underestimated you. Hurry the fuck up. I want to wear the pumpkin. I'm pretty. I think you can put the pumpkins on your head. Um, I'm not sure, but maybe. I saw that in a trailer. I didn't see like a a create a sim item for it, so I assume it's these pumpkins that you can wear on your heads. God dang it! The progress for making the pumpkin just stalled. Okay. Oh, you fucking ruined it. Light the candle anyways. Okay, light the candle. That's our first pumpkin on the porch. Whatevs. Throw that bitch right there. Okay. I hope this doesn't, like, start a fire or anything. Can they start fires? Because that wouldn't be good. That would not be good. Okay, just walk away sadly, why don't you? Like, you just have nothing to live for. Why don't you listen to the ghost uh, play some music? That might cheer you up. She's like level 10 pianist. Are you listening? What What are you doing? Oh, not practice. I didn't mean for him to practice. I meant, well, he can't listen. Why can't he listen? Okay, yeah, watch. Watch. Okay, he's already happy. Whatever. Do whatever you want to do. I don't give a shit. What's this dude doing? Eating cereal? Actually, why don't you go ahead and like... Per well, it's like a neat little library in here. I didn't know that was in there. <laughs> why don't you go in here and cook for everyone? What's this? Clean that up. Clean that up, you stupid butler. Okay, our butler is super neat as well, so he keeps everything clean around the house, basically. Look, if you don't... For some reason in The Sims 4, this has been happening lately. My Sims will just stop and, like, not do what I tell them to do, and it's really annoying. It's really annoying. I guess that's the price we pay for, like, all the updates we get. Bro, I didn't ask you to walk around the entire house and... And then you just set them down. Okay, if you're going to clean the dishes, clean the damn dishes. And if you're not going to clean the dishes, then don't clean the dishes. I don't give a shit. Just leave them there. Leave them there! Alright, we don't... We, we have a sink. You should be able to watch these fucking dishes. You asshole. You're just being a jerk. Okay, okay. Now you pick them up. Okay. okay let's get down to business. You have to piss. You're going to pee yourself, but it's okay. Why, why are you going in here? Oh, God. You're doing... Oh my god, you're so annoying. This is this is beyond annoying. And you're probably gonna wash them in this sink, right? Or are you gonna walk all the way in there to wash them? What are you doing? Why are you just standing there? Okay, there you go. He's on a move again. Where he's going? No, okay, he walked over. So were seriously all these dishes just laying around the house? That's a lot of damn dishes. Okay, yeah, the whole point of me telling you to wash dishes was so you could go cook, but now you're all the way in there. Alright, you go use this. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, Gollum. Gollum, no. Ah, fuck it. He's still gonna cook anyways. Cook a gourmet meal. Why don't you serve us some baked Alaska party size? There's also a new type of party as well, a costume party. And I think um, Felix actually wants to throw one. Because, you know, all his life he's been basically a freak. Because he got these tattoos when he was very young. And it wasn't his decision. It's, it's like his family was like crazy and they like began tattooing him from like a very young age and they eventually tattooed his whole body and he's got like skulls. So he's always been like a freak in his, his entire life. Everyone's always looked at him weird. So he feels like a, a like a spooky costume party would be the best way to like kind of get to know some people because everyone would just be like, oh, he's in the costume. But we don't know enough people. So one of these Sims is going to have to go out. And since basically the butler is the only one that looks normal... Uh, I'm gonna have him go out one day and meet a bunch of people so we can complete Felix's dream of throwing a party, you know? Okay, so as I said, this is, uh, her name is Maggie Hollowell, and her and the Wicked Witch are probably not gonna get along because their traits are so different. Maggie Hollowell, we're not sure what she's here for. Um, she, we, we know she's good. But that doesn't mean that she doesn't have ulterior motives. She wants something out of this house. And that mystery is going to unravel as the story goes on. Oh crap, she's napping in the Wicked Witch's bed. That can't be good. The Wicked Witch might get angry. 
to see this good witch napping in her bed and she might just kind of get pissed off. Okay. So what is this bitch doing in my bed? Bitch, if you don't wake up. Wake up right fucking now. Get out of my bed. Alright, bitch. You might get slapped. Okay. Dismiss goodness. Good sims are stupid. Yeah. I don't like you, bitch. Now yell at her. Why are they being friendly? I hate how they do that. Yell at her and then tell her go away. Don't chat with her. I said yell with her. See, The Sims 4 is so annoying. I swear to God. This whole social sim thing was cool at first and the multitasking was cool at first, but it's like getting, it gets really annoying. All right, now go away, bitch. Get out of my room. Get the fuck out before I turn you into a frog. I can do it. Get the fuck out. Get out. Get your own bed. Actually, where is she going to sleep? I guess this can be the witch's room right here. And I'll go ahead and lock the door so that no one can come in my room. Everyone but Maggie. All right, Maggie. This is your room. If you want to sleep, go to sleep. Even though you're a morning owl, why are you sleeping? Aggravating conversation. She's like, oh my god, I've never experienced such an evil sin. What to do about this? Actually, she's just going to go to her chamber and meditate. Actually, I'm going to give her this little meditation. I can't, that can't fit in her room, can it? Mm, let's see. Let's see if the meditation stool can fit in her room. Oh, hell no. Hell no. We're going to delete the dresser and see if it can fit right there. It's probably still a hell no, though. Hmm. Hello. Hello, dresser. Hello, meditation stool. Oh, can you fit? Ah, yeah, it totally fits. Okay, you can meditate in your room and try and put the thoughts of this evil witch out of your head and just kind of... Why, why can't I click on the meditating stool? Like, leave it alone. Meditate there for a while. Figure out what you're going to do about the situation. And then we'll get back to her when she's got the shit figured out. Hey, right, back to this bitch. All right, she's pissed. She cannot believe this fucking good witch has the audacity to move into her village and sleep in her bed. So she's going on um, her little computer thing because the Wicked Witch, if you didn't know, she's like secretly runs like a bunch of corporations around the world because she's like a mastermind evil villain too. She's not just a Wicked Witch. So she's doing research on this chick, Maggie Hollowell, and trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with this chick? Why is she in my village? What the hell does she want? Yeah, so she's doing that. She's trying to find her. No luck yet, but she's gonna keep trying. All right, those are those guys. So that's 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 basically the gist of this series. It's gonna be like the adventures of these Sims and you know the Wicked Witch and trying to figure out what this good witch is doing in these two, and they're back and forth. Who's more powerful? Who will win? Good or evil? Whose side are you on? Uh, are you on the side of the Wicked Witch Hexora or are you on the side of the Good Witch Maggie? No one knows. All right, you guys get to know each other. They're already supposed to be friends, but you know, I had to reset the game so they're not friends anymore. <laughs> Joke about politicians. Did anybody eat any of this guy's like gourmet? Dude, you just stopped cooking it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Resumed the baked Alaska. No, I don't care if you're hungry or, or starving or sleepy or what. Just cook the baked Alaska before I kick your ass. Okay. Where does Goblin sleep? This is this can be the butler's bed there. After you're done with the Alaska, then you can go to sleep. All right, bro. So these guys kind of bond because they they're both like outcasts in society, and they both like have no friends. He has no friends just because he's a he's freaky looking. He has no friends just because the witch keeps him pretty much under lock and key. But you know, they can be each other's friend. All right, get to know him. Give him a pep talk. <laughs> Disgust interest. What's this treat interaction here? I haven't even explored this interaction. Give him a treat. Where, where are you going now? Get the fuck. Don't just walk. What What was. He just walked in a perfect. in a circle. Like, seriously. Give suave. What are they talking about? 
Chat with go. Well, I want to try out this candy dish. How did that work? Grab a treat after you're done talking to this dude. So this is from the uh, the spooky stuff stuff pack. I hope uh, we get a supernatural stuff pack. If we don't, I'll be really s I'll be really sad. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Are there different effects too? There's no. Doesn't doesn't like a little hand thing come out to stop you? Is that, the, is that all that happens? Is it just smoke? Like the weird smoke stuff? Because I was like expecting like a claw type hand to come out and try to grab you or something. Whoa! Okay, so it does different shit. Okay. That's pretty cool. Try it again. I want to see the hand thing in the jig. And, like a hand is supposed to pop out and be all like, rawr! Does the can give you any kind of movement at all? No, apparently not. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Screw that shit. Alright. So sometimes, uh, um... How do I punch this thing? Yeah, go yell at it. And then threaten to throw him away. Because, like, he hates this bear because it reminds him of himself. See, they already have a really bad relationship because he goes out here and punches it sometimes. Because he's a jerk. Well, he's not a jerk. He, the bear reminds him of everything that he hates about himself. So he just takes stuff out of the bear. It's really sad. Poor bear. And he's threatening, threatening to throw it away and stuff. He just treats this poor little teddy bear like crap for no, no freaking reason. What's Ghosty over here doing? Still playing the piano? She can play it for hours because she literally doesn't have anything to worry about. She's just like chilling. Why don't you go um fuck with Gollum a little bit? Go s scare him or something. Um... I'm pretty sure there's a trick interaction as well. I see the treat interaction. Where's the trick interaction? Mischief? Yes. Let's trick him. I don't I don't know what it does exactly. Or I don't know what it does at all, but let's see. Oh, so it's basically just a scare interaction? Really? That's stupid. Isn't that the exact same? Whoa! It's the scream mask! Cool! It's the scream mask for a mood lit. Cool as shit. Alright, why don't you, uh... Do whatever you were about to do. S scare him. Is that... The interaction is literally the exact same. Okay, that's stupid. There's like no point in even adding that. But what does Treat do then? Do I like give him a piece of candy or some shit? Okay, eat this ghost candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like ghost candy, don't you? Okay, what else could ghost do? Pass through him. Yeah, fuck with him. I'm a ghost. Motherfucker, I'm a ghost. That probably piss me off if like if I if I had like a ghost friend and they kept passing through me. That's like a violation of privacy. Like bitch, do not pass through me. Like what's wrong with you? Like what's wrong? I don't know. How, well, I get why Gollum likes it. He's a fucking weirdo. Spooky sweets bestower. So they give you new moodlets. Does he give a moodlet for getting? It? Getting? Oh, he's afraid of the treats bowl. See, I like how these stuff packs from The Sims 4 actually add, like, a good amount of stuff. Like, there's a whole, there's a different party type. I mean, yeah, it's basically just a costume party, but with different costumes. But still, it's pretty cool. Like, because what you got with Sims 3 was basically just a few new objects and nothing else. So, yeah. I recommend spooky stuff if you like Halloween. If you like Halloween, get spooky stuff. Alright, these two are chilling. Has Hexor found out anything about Maggie yet? Only, only just a little bit. She found um, some information on this chick named Magatha from uh, Strange Town, and apparently she was like kicked out of the town for like dark magic or some shit. And she sees on the screen that she kind of looks like um, Maggie Hollowell, but it can't be Maggie Hollowell because Maggie Hollowell is a good witch. So what? what? What's going on there? That, that's kind of weird, you know? Does does Maggie have some secrets in the past that she doesn't want everybody else to know about? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All that and more as the series continues, you know? Okay, get the fuck up. Get up. Get up. You're the butler. You need to cook. Like, seriously, this not cooking nonsense and being asleep nonsense is making me mad. Okay, resumed this baked Alaska. I don't even know what baked Alaska is, but I want to see what it is, and he won't cook it, and it's pissing me off. 
Okay, why can't you cook the baked, Al baked Alaska? Like, why? Is it, is it, is, is, is there some, give me a good reason why you cannot prepare this baked Alaska. Please. Oh, he just won't fucking do it. Oh god, I hate this game. I hate this dang game. Well, can you at least go clean it up, please? Can you do that? All right, go clean, clean up, clean up the bake. Okay. Now I want you to serve dinner, whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. What? No, not this again. Oh my god, he goes to every single little spot in the village. Why'd you walk all the way in there to wash the dishes? That doesn't make any sense. Like, literally no sense. Oh, she learned something as meditating. As she was meditating, Hollywell suddenly had a flash of insight and realized true happiness comes from within. Well, obviously, you stupid bitch. Insight. Hey, look, stop trying to talk to me while I'm cooking, motherfucker. I don't even like you, you, you creepy bone. Creepy bone looking freak. Get out of here. Go in there. Get away from me. Get away from me, Felix. No one wants you here. Right? I'm trying to do my job. I'm trying to do my job before the witch turns me into a frog or some shit. What, what are those shrimp? What is going on? He won't cook the. Okay, whatever. Quick meal. Just, just have a quick meal. I'll fix this off screen. Later on, eat some damn cereal, you son of a gun. Alright, Ghost has decided to go off and hang out at the cemetery, which is like her favorite place uh, to go. No one's died yet, but as soon as some people start to die off in the series, then uh, then I'll start putting them in the, in the cemetery. So Ghost, just go here and possess some shit, so it's your playful. I love that they have this scream mask right there that's so iconic. And it's in a Sims game. I never thought I'd see that. I wish I had a scream costume. Ooh, possession! I'm so scary. I'm a spooky ghost. Not even night. Well, it's almost night. It'll be night soon. By the way, uh, props to whoever built this lot. Because um, a lot of people asked about this lot every time I post a video of it. So I'll, I'll go ahead and show you the name of the lot and who built it. In case you want to download this village and put it in your world. My library. And I'll also upload these sims for you guys. In case you want to download these sims and put them in your world. Okay, where the heck is it? It's the village. Okay. Oh, there it is. Halloween Village. And this is Halloween Village by Vincent... Shoot. Vincent something. Vincent whatever that says. It has a lot of really great uh, homes, actually. This looks like a castle or something. Wow, it's beautiful. So there's a lot of really beautiful stuff. Uh, check it, check it out. Check him out. Um, and if you want to download this lot, it's somewhere on his thingamajig right there. So you can download that if you want. Um, and yeah. All right. So that was the introduction to uh, The Sims 4 Supernatural series. It'll get a lot more intense as it goes on, trust me. This was basically like an introduction to all the characters for you guys that weren't familiar and also to introduce my new character, Maggie. And basically with this series, I try to tell like a, a kind of an interesting story and it kind of moves on. And you guys obviously have a bunch of influence, so leave your comments. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want me to make these sims do. And as always, if you have any like mods that probably could be good with this series, make sure you post a comment tell me about it uh thanks guys for watching peace out ninjas make sure you like this video and subscribe